Hi, this is Paul from paulbrabby.com and an analysis video. Uh, it's been a little while, I've just been off and back again now. This is Jay Roof, um, Jericho Energy Ventures. Now, these guys um, are looking at hydrogen. You know, hydrogen could decarbonize our energy needs. And so it's, this is 11 trillion potential market here. So. Um, they're listed on three uh, three stock exchanges. OTC J Roof is the one. Uh, look at a technical technically for this. This is why I'm I'm quite interested in this as well because uh, <clears throat> we it has been listed for a while. We did have these highs at 1.03 um, and change um, up here in March 2018. Two years later, you see on this weekly uh, chart here. The volumes really picked up since November uh, 2020 and continue. We've had this parabolic move on news. Now we're forming this bullish pennant. So there's some great potential here. Uh, just quickly go through this weekly chart. I put uh, these highs after that initial IPO with the, is the, the lower part of my sort of resistance zone. And then I've put all this clustering of these highs here on this head and shoulders really to give us a support and resistance zone and then we've pushed through that and now we're coming back to test it as support so really really important and key there also I've got another one here where we've got a lot of support for quite a few weeks on this lower shoulder down here and incorporating all of these highs as well we've pushed that through that recently but I've put it on my chalk it's very very important to see if this does come back down on lower volume this should act as support. So if we go to the daily, look at it a little bit closer. One thing I always look for on the daily time frame is gaps. When it's gapping, we've not got enough volume uh, for it to be tradable. So you can see on the left here, during the you know end of 2019, you've got 2020 here. We're, we're gappy. There's not a lot of volume, not a lot of interest. But then this is the important thing here. From the end of 2020 we started to get less gaps then we had a massive volume spike and now we're getting traded volume every day very small gaps uh, but basically the average volume has gone up considerably so there's a lot more interest in this and this bullish pennant that's forming now remember on the weekly i looked at that support zone uh, from the weekly really really holding the volume is dropping off with this profit taking so we if this can hold we can see this bullish pennant as a really good sign that this wants to push through those all-time highs just to look at some correlations as well so white is the J roof and then I've got a couple of comparative stocks in the sector FCEL and plug now you can see the move from uh, December 2020 was was basically the correlations were all pretty much the same though that parabolic move in this sector was uh, were pretty good but obviously Jericho actually benefited it, uh, from that a lot more in percentage gain wise then we've had this pullback that pullback does seem to be continuing on FCEL and plug at the moment um, but it's not as severe percentage wise on Jericho Energy and that seems to have found support when we looked at that daily and weekly chart a minute ago you can see where that support level is so you know this one may I'm not saying it's the leader of the pack uh, but this one may not pull back as deep as these and we can see the whole industry when we get a parabolic move is very very well correlated so I would see FCEL, FCEL and plug looking for support if they do find support I, and start to move up after this uh, profit taking I think Jericho will react um, will overreact and because we're already at that really strong support zone and continue to go higher however this continues to pull down that's where we look at the J roof chart and look at this uh, next support zone where we're centered around 0.54 there also keep in mind I always have the 55 day and the 89 day moving average EMA cloud here that's an EMA cloud and you usually find when you have these parabolic moves the, the 55 uh, usually holds if not the last chance to is that 89 you'll see over the over the next few weeks that 89 should be coming up through this support zone as well so that's like non-linear support and resistance so there's some good value here exciting um, sector 
and we can see on the information sheet when there's going to be a link to this at the bottom of the video it's listed US Canada and Germany this has got a lot of potential here uh, we it, some reasons for the gaps is it sometimes we may be uh, more uh, traded uh, on the German stock exchange and then those prices pre-market will will sort of match if you like and you'll get those gaps but this is a great looking stock there's a lot of information on the industry and on hydrogen and, and see, see you know the future and where this company is positioned so I would say click on this link and get a good read understand uh, what's going off with this company and this sector so hopefully this helps good looking stock uh, and I'll speak to you all really soon